there are many things that you can do in perplexity you can use this tool to help you with research you can use perplexity to assist you in writing and of course you can also use perplexity to generate images so despite being a tool that is mostly designed for research perplexity apparently also offers the user to generate some high quality and interesting images because they do have multiple AI models like DALI, they have flags and also playground that are specifically designed for creating AI images. So maybe you can skip the subscription for Stable Diffusion or Mid Journey because I think the quality are pretty good. But the only problem is this feature, the feature to generate AI images, seem to be a second thought in perplexity. Let's say I want to generate a picture of a woman practicing yoga. What I need to do is I have to start a new thread. Let's say I want to use this prompt. A woman practicing yoga. And let's click send. And I have to wait until AI doing all the research and then compiling the answer. And only after that, I can generate the picture. It is not straightforward there is no dedicated menu in perplexity that lets you to just send the prompt and then click generate it doesn't exist unfortunately that's why i said it's a second thought feature in perplexity but it's still useful i think some people are using or relying in perplexity to generate visual content now after the answer has been generated only that i can see this button that says generate image and I can select the style. There are four different styles, but I can also just go with a custom prompt and then specify a different style or prompting. But the only problem is this prompt is not great. So in case you are wondering what is that prompt coming from, it is based on the answer from this, uh, from this thread. So it says yoga has gained an immense popularity among women with around 72% in US. It is coming from this. Yoga has become a popular practice for women with approximately 72% of US, uh, I guess, young women practitioners being female. So this is basically just a summary, not even a good summary from this answer. And it's very limited. It's not giving the full answer. You can still gem generate image, but let's say the prompt is not full. It's not complete and it's not exactly good i can still proceed like if i want to generate image using that prompt i can go with that if i just want to get the image quickly then i'll i can click generate image and then click the style and just wait until ai is giving me the image that i want so it's kind of 50 50 sometimes you get something good sometimes you don't but it is uh the downside of this interaction or user user interface in perplexity so how do we get an AI image in perplexity with much, much faster way. Well, there is one workaround. It's not perfect, but I suspect this method is going to be a lot quicker than having to manually start a new thread and then, you know, customize the prompt to get a better looking picture. Okay, so I'm going to open a new tab. This is going to be the, the home page of perplexity. Now, what you need to do is you have to click spaces this is a folder or a directory where you can compile multiple threads together now click create a space and i'm going to call this space ai image from generator and then i'm going to select the description to be this is a space to convert an initial prompt into a, an ai image prompt so the initial prompt is this, but this is not perfect. And we want AI to convert this into a better prompt. And then it will answer that with the improved prompt right here. And then it will be transferred into the AI image. So that's the goal of this method. And now for the custom instructions, I have prepared an instruction, which I will put in the video description. So you don't have to copy, uh, you don't have to manually type this. You can just copy and paste into the custom instructions now you can customize it you can uh, change it however you like but this is the prompt that i use because sometimes it is giving me a more organic looking picture so usually if you are creating images using ai the result is almost always 
too professional it's almost like stock photo which is fine but people can tell that it wasn't real so if you want to get something that's more organic like a picture of that was taken by a phone camera then this is the prompt that i'm using by the way it's not always accurate sometimes you can get it right sometimes you don't but uh, that's because in perplexity there is not much we can do there is no setting or technique that we can do we can only rely on prompt and it can only do so much but sometimes the result feels natural and organic some examples i've shown you earlier in this video like this picture of a woman just uh, holding her phone and the dinner restaurant setting this was using a prompt uh, there is no other technique it looks natural it's almost like a uh, a picture taken by an android phone uh, this also looks very natural this is also natural sometimes you can get it very natural sometimes it looks professional and that's why i said it's not very consistent but i'm still working on the prompt in perplexity that hopefully can get a much more consistent natural result anyway let's go back and i'm going to click continue so i will start a new thread right here and i will do uh, the same thing i will get a picture of a woman practicing yoga let me copy this and just paste i do recommend to just disable the pro search it's not really necessary let's go with auto and i disable web and enable this space uh, it's very important because we want this prompt to be accompanied by this instruction that we have prepared earlier let's send the prompt and just wait until ai is giving the answer it is going to be way faster because it doesn't have to browse the internet doesn't have to analyze everything and we can just click generate image and click custom prompt custom prompt right here and you can see that it is based on the answer it is a lot better because the answer is indeed a proper prompt and we can generate a hopefully better looking image now let's go with photograph and uh you will see whether or not it is better than this picture okay it's still generating hopefully uh, i'm not limited okay so this is the picture it is all right this is the one with my method with with the space method and this is the method using the default prompt i think it's not bad i think both pictures are great but this picture is more dramatic because there is a lighting there is a there, there are a lot of things going on it's almost like a, an amateur photo i would still say that this is a professional looking photo but compared to this this is way more professional than this so i think i would say this is much better than this image but of course everyone can have their own opinion but still the point is we can get this picture much much quicker than using this method in this method you have to start a new thread you have to wait until ai is giving the answer and then you can uh, see the prompt that it is not exactly good a good prompting so sometimes you have to manually adjust the prompt but in this method you can just you know start a new thread in the space and then generate image and you can see the prompt is going to be a lot better and what you need to do is just select the style that you prefer so that's how you can generate a, an, an ai picture in perplexity much quicker than the previous method hopefully perplexity will have a better way to interact with the ai image model because right now it's kind of awful but hopefully this method can help you in the time being now uh, if you find this video to be useful then please consider subscribing to this channel because hopefully uh, next time i can unlock a way to get a natural looking photo using ai image model in perplexity but anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you around